There, Bruiser Nation, raise those anchors and get ready to wear the official merch of Bruiser Nation Productions. Visit BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com and show the world your love of the Bruiser Nation as you go about your day in style. We have Bruise Cruise Podcast and to the turnbuckle tees, hoodies, jackets, shoes, bags, and even pillows. You heard that right, pillows. That's BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com. Once again, BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com. And remember, Bruiser Nation, stay good, because I'm always good. Nation, raise those anchors and get ready to take a ride on the Bruise Cruise. This week, we are going to be covering the Epic Encounter versus Tai Chi and Jay White from the G1 Climax Tournament, the 30th edition, I might add, as we await Tai Chi's entrance, Jay White has already made his way to the ring tai chi in his phantom of the opera inspired regalia at least i'm assuming that's what inspired the opera gimmick now would jay white continue his winning streak of six in a row in this tournament leading his block or can tai chi halt his momentum keep those points in his favor and move up a spot in the group B. I do believe this is group B. As he comes out with Mike Raffone in hand, the IWGP championship, the tag team championships in tow. And as Tai Chi steps, walks up the steps, fan of the Phantom of the Opera gear, he is awaiting the beginning of this matchup, singing to Jay White, who actually likes Tai Chi, seated in the corner, watching this performance on full display from Tai Chi. Showing his singing chops in the middle of a pro wrestling event. One half of the IWGP Tag Team Champions is Tai Chi. Still serenading not only to Jay White, but to the fans in attendance. Hands the chair to the referee. 
So there's no shenanigans, at least at the beginning of this. Let's see how long that lasts between these two competitors who both like to push the envelope a little bit. The question is, can old Red Shoes actually control the action and keep them from cheating this whole time? Both men have used a lot of chicanery and distractions as Jay White and Guido do too sweet before the match begins. Jay White in the blue corner. Tai Chi in the red still needs to take off his opera regalia for this match to begin. Jay White staring a hole in Tai Chi now, almost like, hurry the hell up, man. Tai Chi does not look nervous at all, ready to go at Jay White in this tournament and improve his standing in the G1 Climax. Still stalling for time here. Jay White asking the referee to move Tai Chi back. Tai Chi's still getting gear off. Tai Chi chastising Jay White, telling him he talks too much. Let's get everything out of the ring. The bell has rung. One on one, Jay White and Tai Chi, and both men are posturing on the apron. Looks like they were both going to go outside and try to cheat a little bit. Still undecided how they want to do this. Jay White, Tai Chi, back to their feet, smiles on their faces. Roll and now they both roll out of the ring. Tai Chi and Jay White enjoying the antics of the other. Who's going to get in the ring and actually start something here? Lots of posturing and time wasting. Neither one is trying to make a mistake, trying to get. The upper hand as quickly as possible. The referee is now admonishing both men, telling him to stay in the ring. <laughs> Roundhouse attempt by Tai Chi, countered by Jay White into an to the switchblade. Tai Chi counter slides out of the ring. Old Switchblade follows, gets Irish whipped into the barricade. Now Tai Chi getting some camera cables and choking the life out of Jay White on the outside. Still choking him, getting admonished by the referee. Cameraman getting in close. Tai Chi finally releases it as he sees Gato with something. Nope, nothing in his hand, but he was worried about interference from Gato. Rocking the Switchblade era shirt in honor of his managerial wrestler, Jay White. Oh, who forces Tai Chi back first. That distraction by Guido was everything Jay White needed to take back control of this. Throws Tai Chi into the barricade right against the commentary table. Rolls in to stop the count. Back out to the ring, to the ringside area. Attacking Tai Chi once again on the outside. Now rolls Tai Chi back in the ring. 
And Tai Chi rolls to the other side. Jay White running to follow. Double axe handle cut against the back of the head. Thrown back into the barricade on the other side of the ring. Tai Chi in a world of hurt right now. Laid out on the outside mats. Jay White now has the microphone of Tai Chi taunting him some more. Tell him to sing karaoke for me, he says. That's the best. Jay White patiently awaits Tai Chi's entrance, adjusting the knee pads as Tai Chi is still on the outside. Rolls in the ring. Grasp the ropes to force Jay White to back off. Jay White does not show any quarter, starts stomping Tai Chi right in the ground. A round of applause by Jay White. Neckbreaker by Jay White to Tai Chi. Cover one, two. Tai Chi kicks out at two. Cover one, two. Tai Chi kicks out at two again. A cavalcade of right hands. Another cover. One, two. Tai Chi once again kicks out at two. Seated position for Tai Chi with Jay White driving the knee right into his spine, pulling back on his chin. Drives the knee into the spine of Tai Chi. Tai Chi's trying to escape to no avail. Eats a stomp from the switchblade. Jay White in complete control here in the corner. Some gut butts, shoulder gut busters by Jay White to Tai Chi in the corner. Raking at the eyes of Tai Chi. Irish whip from corner to corner. Charges Tai Chi. Blocks a big boot attempt by Tai Chi and hits Tai Chi with a Hard chop across the chest, sending him smashing to the mat. Slowly but surely, purveying the area, surveying the area, I should say. Awaiting Tai Chi to get to his feet on his own. Charges Tai Chi again, catches the foot, and now Tai Chi grabs the eyes of the switchblade Jay White. Charges at Tai Chi in the corner. Tai Chi counters, forces Jay White into the corner, and a big roundhouse right to the side of the head by Tai Chi to Jay White, giving himself a bit of a breather. Both men down on the mat. Jay White looks knocked a little bit silly from that jumping roundhouse kick to the face. Trying to gather his bearings as Tai Chi starts to recover from the onslaught of Jay White. Roundhouse attempt. Jay White ducks. Back kick. Rolling back kick. Spinning back kick by Tai Chi to Jay White. Forcing Jay White in the corner. Tai Chi once again grabbing at the eyes of Jay White. Irish whip from corner to corner. This time Tai Chi tries it, but countered by Jay White. Charges Tai Chi. Tai Chi counters. Go for another jumping roundhouse and chop block right to the leg of Tai Chi. Jay White smiling with this DDT smiling in enjoyment as he tears Tai Chi apart. Crowd clapping, trying to get behind Tai Chi. Jay White silences them with a finger, tells them to stop cheering for him. Tai Chi back to his feet in the corner. Jay White running European uppercut into the corner. Front face lock. The blade buster delivered by Jay White. Cover one, two. Tai Chi kicks out at two. Blade Busters, a front vertical suplex with a twist. Goes for the Uranagi. Tai Chi counters three hard elbows to the back of the head. Hard chop by Jay White to Tai Chi.
Irish whip. Tai Chi counters Jay White. Side suplex attempt. Jay White clobbers Tai Chi and credits the back of the head. Now eats a clothesline to the shoulders. The neck shoulder area forcing Jay White hard into the ropes. Tai Chi asking for the crowd to get behind him, give him the energy he needs to defeat Jay White. Bounces off the ropes. Jay White drops to both knees. Tai Chi roundhouse. Jay White ducks under and counter and eats a huge clothesline. Cover one, two. Jay White kicks out at two. Tai Chi's trying, starting to get some momentum behind him, staying a little bit ahead of Jay White and his antics at this point in the matchup. Earlier on, he was struggling with the antics of Jay White, and he seems to have figured him out right now. Goes for a pile driver. Jay White is able to drop his knees down, dropping his weight, not allowing Tai Chi to lift him in the air. Now, rapid kicks to the forehead. In quick succession, four of them goes for the pile driver again. Jay White counters and a leg whip to Tai Chi from Jay White as Tai Chi was down on the mat, forcing the leg hard into the mat. Even more damage caused to the leg after that chop block delivered earlier. Another jumping roundhouse attempt. Jay White is able to duck under. Deadlift German suplex by Jay White. Then Tai Chi eats it. Bounces off the ropes. Goes for a clothesline. Countered into a Uranagi by Jay White. Goes for the Blade Runner. Tai Chi counters. Side suplex. Oh my God. Jay White landed right on the top of his head. Landing on the neck and shoulder area is was Jay White after Tai Chi countered the Blade Runner, where if you're not familiar with his work, it's very similar to the Crossroads. Basically a swinging face buster instead of a swinging neck breaker. Tai Chi, Jay White, both to their feet. Tai Chi used the ropes. Jay White got up on his own volition, jaw jacking each other. Hard kick to the thigh of Jay White. Asked Jay White to hit him right in the face. He drives a knee in the midsection instead. Another roundhouse to the thigh of Jay White. Another hard, this time a stomp to the gut of Tai Chi from Jay White. Both of them are telling the other to nail him in the face. Uh, Faints the forearm and gives another roundhouse to the thigh of Jay White. And another, another knee to the gut. Trading shots. Kicks, knees. Goes for a big time roundhouse after two thigh kicks. Goes for a sleeper suplex countered by Tai Chi with a big time elbow combination strikes by Jay White. Another roundhouse to the thigh. Standing roundhouse by Tai Chi to Jay White, sending him crashing to the mat. What a segment that was. Tries to get Jay White up to his feet. Goes for the Tai Chi clutch. Gato's in the ring. Old Red Shoes is not able to count. Guido is in the ring. Tai Chi has Jay White pinned on the ground. Costing Tai Chi this matchup here as Jay White sneaks behind him. Looks like he was going for another boot. Jay White pushes Tai Chi into the ring, knocking the referee down. Here comes Gato. Goes for a... Oh, a low...
And now he low blows Jay White taking the victory. The Tai Chi clutch pin. Cover one, two. And Jay White kicks out at two. What a matchup, Bruiser Nation. Tai Chi is feeling it, ready to get back at it with Jay White back to his feet. Grasps Jay White by the head. Power bomb attempt by Tai Chi. Last ride. Nailed Jay White. Cover one, two. Jay White kicks out at two. What does Tai Chi have to do now? He hit him with that huge last ride. After all this punishment Jay White has taken, still was not enough to keep the switchblade down. Calling for a step kick. Referee got shoved in the way. Jay White attempts another blade runner. Countered by Tai Chi. Countered by which, what, what, a countered their own moves. Knife edge shot by Jay White, who eats an elbow and crumples to the mat. Thrust kicked attempt by Tai Chi. Sidestep by Jay White. Hits him with the blade runner. Cover one, two, three. That is it. Bruiser Nation, what a hard fought matchup between Jay White and Tai Chi. Both going for cheap victories to no avail for either of them. They had to dig deep into their bag of tricks. And with one final counter, Jay White takes the victory and the points, countering a thrust kick by Tai Chi into the Blade Runner, maintaining his top spot in the A block. Bruiser Nation, thanks again for tuning in. This week's edition of the Bruise Cruise Podcast, continuing our G1 Climax 30 coverage, performed, produced, and edited by Jason McCarthy. Follow Bruiser Nation Productions, the Bruise Cruise Podcast, wherever you get your favorite podcast. As far as Bruiser Nation Productions, go to BruiserNationProductions.com. You'll see all of our shows from To the Turnbuckle, the Bruise Cruise Podcast, the Red Flag Podcast, and links to our merch. And recently added just a random page on BruiserNationProductions.com where we post random stories from the interwebs for your genuine pleasure. And stay good, Bruiser Nation, because I'm always good. Bruiser Nation, raise those anchors and get ready to wear the official merch of Bruiser Nation Productions. Visit BruiserNationProductions.KinCustom.com and show the world your love of the Bruiser Nation as you go about your day in style. We have Bruise Cruise Podcast and to the turnbuckle tees, hoodies, jackets, shoes, bags, and even pillows. You heard that right. Pillows. That's BruiserNationProductions.KinCustom.com once again, BruiserNationProductions.KinCustom.com. And remember, Bruiser Nation, stay good, because I'm always good.